After forming their company in 1871, the Mauser brothers Paul and Wilhelm quickly rose to prominence, making a strong and lightweight centerfire rifle. Accepted by Germany as the Model 1871, by 1875 it was being manufactured at Oberndorf am Neckar by Mauser in the factory where their father had been a gunsmith. In 1877, the Mauser brothers decided to manufacture handguns, starting with designing the C-77 single-shot black powder pistol. The pistol was not a commercial success, but by the next year, Mauser completed design of the black powder C-78 zigzag revolver, and it was submitted in competition to replace the German Spandau GTK-designed Reich revolver. Mauser entered late and so lost the competition, but the C-78 had a relatively good commercial success. Mauser also succeeded in gaining the contract to produce Rex revolvers Model 79 and 83. To expand their Oberndorf am Neckar facilities, the Mauser brothers had entered into partnership with Stuttgart banking interests. By 1884, Mauser became a stock company principally owned by the bank, after his brother Wilhelm's death in 1882. In this, the Ludwig Lowe conglomerate saw opportunity just as massive orders started coming in, buying the bank's interest. Also in 1884, significant scientific advances had been achieved by Paul Mauser's friend Max Wilhelm Dutenhofer, who provided Mauser with high-energy smokeless powder from his gunpowder mill in Wadweil, just 20 kilometers from Oberndorf. This facility collaborated on both experimental and production cartridge development with Ludwig Lowe's cartridge manufacturing facility in Karlsruhe. In 1887, Mauser began an important contract with Turkey for 500,000 rifles, 50,000 carbines, and 100 million rounds of ammunition. This was the last major contract for black powder rifles. Mauser then began adapting his rifle designs to the high energy powder, and in 1888 a prototype was ready. It won the competition in Belgium in 1889, becoming the Belgium Model 89. The mechanisms in the C-77 and C-78 handguns were novel but by the late 1880s, many inventors were working on self-loading pistol designs expressly made for higher power, smokeless powder-based cartridges. This included Hugo Borchardt, who designed the bottleneck 7.65 mm Borchardt cartridge with tapered case for his C-93 toggle lock pistol. This unwieldy, complex mechanism was large, heavy, and eventually replaced by the Luger Parabellum pistol, manufactured in Lowe's DWM Berlin facility. Luger had shortened the 7.65mm Borchardt cartridge to create the 7.65mm Parabellum cartridge. Mauser also started with the Borchardt cartridge, but increased the powder charge. This resulted in a very high-power, compact pistol round. Inspired by Theodore Bergman's marketing of the Otto Brauwetter patented and Louis Schmeisser designed pistol, Mauser turned to his master gunsmith, Fidel Federle, for work on his self-loading pistol in his Oberndorf research facility. Federle had long experience working with Mauser and his team on successful rifle designs, and retained the internal box magazine design, turning to stripper clips for fast reloads and compact cartridge packaging. The C96 Mauser 7.63 mm cartridge is designed for use on stripper clips and for easy extraction despite its high power and expansion in the firing chamber thanks to its tapered shape. After experiencing the loss of patent rights to the Loa Group, Mauser took the precaution of patenting the C96 pistol in his own name personally, ensuring patent rights of the design flowed to him in the future. In all, the pistol was manufactured for 40 years and copied by factories in Spain and China. This is the first C96 pistol, the prototype engraved March 15, 1895. 
The C96 design was at once strong, balanced, and complex. Using a locked bolt design with direct rearward motion to reset the hammer, it is designed for accurately firing its powerful cartridge. Mauser constructed a new manufacturing facility in this time frame to increase space for fulfillment of contracts for rifles and the C96 pistol, which was put in production on the top floor of this building. The C96 became integral to Mauser's worldwide sales activities and was presented alongside rifle offerings to regional distributors and government military commissions. Early adopters of the C96 included the Turkish and the Italians. It represented a new level of handgun firepower never seen in prior constructions. Competing designs were not as reliable or successful at this point, and a number of national military organizations were very interested. It also addressed the German military's concerns for pistol safety which had not been as primary an issue to other nations that adopted the C-96. Even German Kaiser Wilhelm II used the C-96 as a hunting firearm, here shown with his engraved presentation C-96 pistol. In 1935, Julian Hatcher said of the C-96, This is a very famous gun, and has for years been used all over the world especially by explorers and those who live in the wilder and less civilized parts of the earth. One of its greatest advantages is that it uses the highest velocity cartridge made whose ballistics resemble those of a rifle more than those of any other pistol. This then is Paul Mauser's handgun masterpiece, the C-96. Ready? We're going to do it! We're going to do it!